Welcome to ReadTheTicket.com. In all investment houses, there is a committee. A committee to discuss where is the next big move coming from. To work out a strategy, if it happens, when it may happen, if it may happen. Whether you do it with a bunch of friends or you're doing it with a highly paid investment professionals in Italian suits. The only way to do this is to really examine the big channels. Because if you're going to get a big move, it's going to make a wave within the big channels. What are the big channels? Big channels are charts that are made up between 50, 70, 80, 100, 200 years of data to see what fundamental changes are required to move a currency, a commodity, a stock 10 or 20 percent. These are the big moves that really make fortunes. So let's have a bit of a strategy session and see what's on the horizon for the next big move. First, let's have a look at the carry trade, the USD JPY. Or the FXY ETF. Here we have a very long channel, the blue channel I'm referring to. Let's get closer up. Now, the recent plunge in the um, FXY or the USD JPY is due to Abe Economics. Here we have a one. Where is it? Pivots. So you can easily see a five waves down, but is it done? Could the five waves extend? We could get an ABC up here. And what would do that? What would make the yen strengthen? Well, quite frankly, failure of the Abe economics. The yen strengthening would see the Carl Bass play profit. Everyone knows Carl Bass believes the Japanese bonds will blow up and that what would happen here, we would see the, the yen strengthen, the new US dollar weaken, and this would rise. At the moment, it is poised. Obviously, this would change risk on assets dramatically around the world. Stock prices would fall. So, a very interesting one to watch. We are on a channel, so the next 20% move the FXY or the USD JPY is a candidate. After all, Japan is pretty much a basket case economically. That in the background, that's the carry trade, a very important aspect. Let's have a look at gold, because that would obviously benefit if something went wrong there. Where is gold? Here we have gold still in its long channel with a pullback. Let's get closer in. As you can see, it's hugging the outer channel. Just Firefox allows a magnification, so we'll have a look at that. As you can see, it's perfectly hugging. It hit it three times. Interesting. So people are paying attention to this chart. One point to notice, channels do tend to break to the, on the downside to create despair. The last time it happened was here. Here we had a breakout of the channel. Got all the media going, see what happens. So we, um, on this angle here, You may get the other shoulder formed. So you might get a bit of a breakdown here to see what to create a bit of anxiety and um, get a proper formation of this uh, inverse head and shoulders. Might doubt it if we go to a thousand, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Summer months a bit of a slump for gold, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, between May and June, July, there is a bit of a sort of breakdown, a bit of a slowdown. See what happens, but I still think gold is a bullish chart. Here 
equities. Dow Jones. It's a big chart. It goes all the way back to 1800. Wow. Here we see I was um, moving up the channel. We're on a upper channel tag here. Pay attention to that. We're on a lower channel tag there. Closer in. When, st when charts start moving around 10, 20%, if you don't have the big channels, you can't see what's going on. So here we are. Very interesting. Closer up, shall we? As you can see, we've got an upper channel. Hit. Well, the, the blue channel upper hit, channel hit and the red line upper channel hit, as I described before, this is the red line here. Support becomes resistance. Very interesting time for the Dow Jones at around 17,000. Obviously, if it breaks, it managed to break out, break out here. There's not much between here and 22,000. So the markets are working through this right now. Crude oil. A range or a bit of a triangle up obviously on the worry of uh, conflict I would think a bit of a premium building up in that the Ukraine what have you but it'll only be a new spike if there's um, there is some trouble CRB Yep, it's awoken from its slumber. No real resistance that it gets around 600. It's around 560 at the moment. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on that one. What else is interesting? Asian stocks. As stated in the blog, I believe... Asian stocks are going to get a hard time as they've lived off the um, the breastwork of China. The China demand slows down, so all Asian equities, which includes Australia. Hasn't really gone as far as SP500. It's not really attracting the big money. Anything else of interest? Bank. You need the bank stocks to do well. But as you know, um, this is uh, US NASDAQ bank stocks. We have um, trouble in US housing. Lower interest rates mean lower returns to the banks. As you can see there, I think this is um, around about a Key retracement level. There we go. I think that might wander sideways before it finally gives up. Transports. Yep. Let's 
bit more room to move on the transports. No real sign of bearishness there. We got any upper trend lines to worry about. Oops, broken that one. And gold stocks for the last one. As we can see here, we've got a bit of a complex head and shoulders. We've got one, two, two shoulders there, one head, so we might get one, two there. Um, obviously, worst case scenario is you actually get a, this is a shoulder and you get a head down here, and another shoulder over here, to wait and see what happens there. But definitely basing. Very, very bullish on the base. That's it, folks. That's how you strategize to see where the next 20% move is coming from. Keep an eye on the big channels as um, large fundamentals move the market. Thanks for watching.